Hello and welcome to a measurement video on the units of area. Before we start looking at the units of area, let's have a reminder of the units of length because they're closely related to the units of area. So the units of length, we have uh, conversions of 1 centimeter equaling 10 millimeters. And so we'd say that's got a conversion rate of 10, depending on whether we're moving from millimeters to centimeters or back the other direction, we'll either be multiplying or dividing by 10 to make that conversion. So with one meter equaling 100 centimeters, that conversion rate will be 100. We'll either be multiplying or dividing by 100 to move between meters and centimeters, depending on which direction we're going. And we have one kilometer equaling 1,000 meters. So the conversion rate there is 1,000, either multiplying or dividing by 1,000. So they're the conversions for units of length. Now with units of area, we use square units in area square millimeters, square centimeters, square meters, square kilometers, and those sorts of things. So because we're using square units, what happens is the conversion rates between the normal units, they get squared when you, we're using square units instead. I'll show you how I mean. So the squared conversion rates, we have a, a 10 squared is 100, and so 100 squared is 10,000. And a thousand squared is actually a million, pretty big conversion rate. So that's the conversion rates we have to use for units of area here. So whereas we used uh, 10 as the conversion rate between centimeters and millimeters, we actually use 10 squared or 100 as the conversion rate between square centimeters and square millimeters. So we also use a squared conversion rate of 10,000 between square meters and square centimeters. And we actually use a massive conversion rate of a million. Now, there are a million square meters in every square kilometer. So there's pretty big conversion rates there compared to units of length. And so generally what we've just got through saying is when square units are used, we square the normal conversion rate between those units. So we'll be using those conversion rates. And also there's a special uh, unit of area that we don't uh, think of much, and that's a hectare. A hectare is 100 metres by 100 metres. And so one hectare equals 10,000 square metres. Now the symbol for hectare is HA. Uh, so one hectare is 10,000 square metres. Now just uh, in passing, if you wanted to picture a hectare, if you know an athletics track that goes, uh, let me get the pins up, okay, <laughs> that goes across there and it goes around the curve and across there again and around the bend. So a normal athletics field, that has about a hectare of grass in the middle of it. So if you can picture that, that's about a hectare. It's almost 100 by 100, you know, they may, they run the 100 meters race down there. So that's about one hectare if we just wanted to picture that in our mind. One hectare, 100 meters by 100 meters. Okay, so that's a special unit of measure, the hectare, but um, we're using some pretty big conversion rates here. Let's see how we go in converting some of those things. We've also got to keep in mind a special conversion set of conver conversion rules. When con converting uh, to smaller units from a bigger unit, we multiply by the conversion rate. And if we're converting to larger units from a smaller unit, we divide by the conversion rate. So if you've got a meter, one meter, that's a pretty big unit, the unit of meter. If we used a smaller unit, centimeters, there would be 100 of them in that length. So when we're using smaller units, there's many more of them uh, in the same length. So that's kind of how it works there. If we've got smaller units, we'll multiply by the conversion rate and the number will actually get bigger. When we're moving to larger units, we'll divide by the conversion rate and the actual number will get smaller. We'll see how it works with plenty of examples in this the rest of this video. So we'll keep those conversion rules in mind and the conversion rates between those. We'll refer to them constantly as we do some uh, examples here. We'll look at the conversion rate between the two units that we're talking about. We'll look at uh, whether we're converging, we'll, we'll think about whether we're converting to smaller or larger units. And that will tell us whether we're multiplying or dividing by that conversion rate. So we'll use a bit of a template here, a bit of a decision template to uh, do each of our examples. We can run through them fairly quickly because we go through the same thought processes for each. And then we'll get our answer. I'll show you how it works. 
Okay, so if we've got 3 centimetres squared and we're trying to convert that to millimetres squared, we'll have a look up the top here and have a look for centimetres and millimetres. The conversion rate for that is 100 between square centimetres and square millimetres. So we'll use that conversion rate of 100. And we're moving from centimetres squared to millimetres squared. I think we're moving to smaller units. So that will mean, according to our conversion rules up the top there, that we are multiplying by that conversion rate of 100. When you multiply by 100, you add two zeros, so we'll get 300 for our number. We're converting to smaller units, and you'll notice that the number got much bigger. So it's kind of like they're working in opposite directions there. Let's have a look at another one. This time we're going from uh, 407 millimetres squared to a certain number of centimetres squared. What's the conversion rate? Once again, we're using that 100 conversion rate at the top there. Converting between uh, centimetres squared and millimetres squared, so we'll put a box around that. We're converting this time to bigger units, so we'll be dividing by that 100. When you divide by 100, you move the decimal point two spots over. Uh, you do it on your calculator, of course, but the decimal point, which is at the end of the des uh, of that whole number, would be moving two spots to the left, and we'll get an answer of 4.07 there. So each time we're just going through a decision process. What's the conversion rate? Are we going from smaller units or larger units, or converting to smaller units or larger units? Are we multiplying or dividing? They're the sort of three things we're, de we're deciding each time. We're converting to, uh, we we're using metres squared and centimetres squared. Uh, we've got a conversion rate of 10,000 up the top there. So our conversion rate is 10,000. If we're going from metres squared to centimetres squared, that means we're going to smaller units. So that means we're going to multiply by that 10,000. So we'll be moving the decimal point one place across to the right for every zero here. So four places across to the right or we'll type it into our calculator, that's another way of doing it, 62,000 for our answer. Working with metres squared and centimetres squared again, so we've got a conversion rate of 10,000 still. This time we're going the other direction. We are moving to larger units, and so that means we'll be dividing by that 10,000. So we'll have the decimal point that's usually at the end of numbers moving across to the left one place for every zero. 5.62 is our answer on that one. This time we're starting to use kilometres squared and metres squared. So this is the first time we're using that huge conversion rate of a million. Are we okay? So we're using the million for the conversion rate. Uh, kilometres squared to metres squared. We're moving to a smaller unit. So we will multiply by that million. That'll make it fairly big. Uh, so we'll move the decimal point six places across, or use our calculator, and we've got seven and a half million square meters. So with square units, numbers get very big very quickly. Kilometers squared and meters squared again. I think we're using that million conversion rate again. Uh, converting to larger units this time. We're going from meters squared to kilometers squared. We'll be dividing by a million and that'll be moving the decimal point at the end of that number across to the left one space for every zero, so that's six places across. So the decimal point actually goes across to the between the four and the two because those two zeros that are at the end of the decimal that's created we don't actually have to write them in. They're sort of uh, optional. So 4.2956 kilometers squared. That's a lot of meters squared isn't it? 4.2 million-ish. Okay, and hectares. We've got a conversion rate at the bottom of hectares of every hectare has 10,000 square meters in it. So we will use that conversion rate of 10,000. We're moving to smaller units. We'll be multiplying, therefore, according to our conversion rules, by that 10,000. And that'll move the decimal point four places to the right. Or check on your calculator. You get 32,000 for your answer on that one. And our last example of the day here. Uh, we're moving from metres squared to hectares. We're using that 10,000 conversion rate again. Hectares are bigger units, and so we'll be dividing by that 10,000. Moving the decimal place, which is invisible at the end of that, and we're moving it left one jump for every zero. So we'll... looks like the decimal point will end up between the 5 and the 6 there. Yep, 5.6913.
So let's recap how we did all those conversions. There's our conversion rates and we get some pretty big ones in units of area. We have the conversion rules if we're breaking them up into smaller units then um, that uh, that will mean a bigger number by multiplying by the conversion rate. If you're moving to larger units you're going to get a smaller number by dividing by the conversion rate. We think of the conversion rate between the items we're moving and uh, converting whether we're converting to smaller units or bigger units that'll decide whether we're dividing or multiplying by the conversion rate and then we're using our calculator to finish it off. Now we've moved we've used a lot of kilometers meters squared sorry kilometers squared meters squared centimeters squared and millimeters squared let's recap the relationships between them if you go into the smaller units there it's got a conversion rate of uh, a million so we'd be multiplying by a million if you're going back the other direction you'll be dividing by a million conversion rate between meters squared and centimeters squared it's a multiplying by 10,000 if you're going back the other direction to a bigger unit you'd be dividing by 10,000 and the relationship between centimeters squared and millimeters squared is a hundred and if you're going to back to the bigger unit you'd be dividing by hundred so that diagram would be worth copying down I think just sums up the different relationships between the different units of area there okay hope that helps pretty tricky but uh, kind of like the same set of thoughts each time to decide uh, what our final number will be when we convert one square unit to another. Watch the video over and over and uh, until you get the hang of it and I'm sure you'll be get, get pretty good at that pretty soon. Alright, we'll have a look at another measurement video soon and for any uh, of your maths needs, if you want to get better at any sort of topic, peterblakemaths.com has got some great videos for you. We'll see you next time for some more measurement videos. Thanks very much. Bye bye.